In this knowledge clip, we will show you how accountants can affect the outcome of reporting and hence have a social impact with a detailed example based on depreciation choices. Assume that a mining company purchased a new heavy duty truck for $4 million. The two asset managers, Sarah and Michael, have differing views on how to account for depreciation. Sarah, a senior manager, is concerned with increasing profits in the short term since her bonus is linked to achieving a specific profit target. On the other hand, Michael, who is only a junior manager, intends to stay with the company for the long term. Therefore, he wants the profits to be as low as possible in the short term, so that the target for performance bonuses in the long term would be based on a low benchmark. This would ensure that when he becomes senior manager and his performance bonus gets linked to profitability, he would be likely to achieve that target and receive a bonus. The company uses a straight line method for calculating depreciation. The formula for depreciation would be cost less the residual value divided by the remaining useful life of the asset. The truck which costs $4 million has an estimated residual value of $700,000 and a useful life of 15 years. This equates to $220,000 of depreciation each year. For Sarah to ensure that there are high profits in the short term, she will make the depreciation expense as small as possible. There are two ways that Sarah can achieve this. First, by increasing the residual value and second, by increasing the estimated useful life of the truck. Therefore, Sarah sets the residual value of the truck at $1.1 million and the useful life of the truck at 20 years. The depreciation expense that Sarah would put through is $145,000. This reduces the depreciation expense and increases the reported profits by $75,000 per year. On the other hand, Michael wants the profits to be as low as possible in the short term and thus wants the depreciation expense to be as high as possible. Michael sets the residual value at $300,000 and the useful life at 10 years. The depreciation expense that Michael would put through is $370,000, which will reduce profits considerably. Now let's consider the social impact of the differing depreciation calculations. If Sarah's depreciation calculation is used, the profits would be higher in the short term. This in turn would create false confidence in investors and owners lenders, employers, and suppliers. The company would be of the view that the truck has a useful life of 20 years, and so it might fail to plan for capital investments in another replacement truck in the short term. The company is also unlikely to receive 1.1 million if it sold the truck after 20 years. The truck is more likely to receive much less, and this difference would be a large write-off that would have to be expensed when the truck is sold. However, if Michael's calculation for depreciation is used, then the profits would be much lower in the short term. Investors and owners are likely to lose confidence given the low profits and low asset carrying value. This could result in owners selling their investments, which in turn could result in a decrease in share price. Other stakeholders, such as lenders and creditors, may also be fearful of interacting with the company, which would make it difficult for it to borrow money or buy goods and services. Therefore, in this example, we see how these differing methods employed by different accountants have a large impact on decisions and demonstrate the social impact that accounting has.